Hello everyone, I welcome you all once again to my series of lecture that is understanding pharmaceutical science with Dr. Hari Haran. So today we are going to discuss about one of the genetic transformation process in a bacteria that is bacterial conjugation. So in this lecture we will discuss first about the historical background of bacterial conjugation then little bit about what is meant by a conjugation and its types and we will discuss elaborately about the F plus into F minus conjugation process. So first we will understand how the bacterial conjugation has been identified. So the first evidence of bacterial conjugation that is the transfer of genetic material from one bacteria to another bacteria happening through direct contact was put forward by Joshua Ledenberg and Edward Tatum in 1946. So they have performed an elegant experiment to prove this the bacterial conjugation is happening. So if you see the Ledenberg and Tatum experiment what they have done is they have taken a two types of oxotropic mutant strain. So one strain has an ability to grow only in a media which contains the amino acids biotin, phenylalanine and cysteine. That means it lacks the gene that is bio minus, PHE minus and cis minus. Second they have taken an another strain that is uh, uh, lack the genes of threonine, leucine and thiamine. That means if the media contains threonine, leucine and thiamine then only it can grow. So they have taken both the strain and they have taken inside into a direct contact inside into a test tube and they incubated. And what the find is after play, uh, cultivating into a minimal media that is minimal media is nothing but the media does not contain any of these amino acids that is biotin, phenylalanine, cysteine, threonine, leucine and thiamine. So if it does not contain means both the strain will eventually die. Only the strain in which the genetic transfer happened can only grow. So they can grow only by the two oxotropes chromosomes has been recombined and carrying all the genes necessary for its growth that is the biotin, phenylalanine, cysteine, threonine, leucine and thiamine genes. So they find that there was a growth and that means the genetic transfer has been happened. So this I have shown with you a little bit figure. So in this picture you can see the blue color test tube indicates the bacteria mutants which it does not carry the gene that is biotin, phenylalanine and cysteine. It needs that one to grow but it carries the gene that means it has an ability to produce threonine, leucine and thiamine. Similarly the second one blue one if you see which lacks the gene threonine, leucine and thiamine that means the media need this amino acid for its growth but it has the gene for biotin, phenylalanine and cysteine. So uh, Ledenberg and Tata mixed it so what happened is the conjugation happened and the genetic transfer happened. That means biotin, phenylalanine, cysteine gene has been transferred to the uh, yellow color one because of this what happened is once the cultivate in the minimal media it has grown. So this shows that the uh, conjugated strain carries both the characteristics that is bio plus, phenylalanine plus, cysteine plus, threonine, leucine and thiamine plus. So but there was a little bit drawback with this experiment that this experiment shows that genetic transfer is happening but it not able to directly confirm that the genetic transfer is happened only because of physical contact. So this uh, drawback has to be overcome that the physical contact has made the genetic transfer. So what this, uh, this drawback has been uh, overcome by uh, next person that is by uh, Davis so who performed an YouTube experiment. So in 1950 Bernard Davis performed a YouTube experiment how he has done it he has constructed a YouTube English alphabet U. So two arms he joined it at the bottom at the U formation by placing a filtered glass. So this filtered glass will allows the media to pause but not the bacteria. So this YouTube he has filled with the nutrients. In one side he has added the one E. coli mutant strain. In another side he has added the another mutant strain. So he has incubated then cultured in the minimal media. 
So if you see the picture of how the experiment has happened, if you see, so it is a typical U-tube. So in this, the, the center filtered glass is there. And in the left hand side, that is the green color one, we had added in E. coli mutant, that is methionine negative and threonine leucine and thiamine positive. That means this E. coli needs methionine for its growth. And similarly, in the pink side, if you see it, it is a methionine positive and threonine leucine and thiamine negative. That means it needs threonine leucine and thiamine for its uh, growth. So after that, he has, after incubation, during the incubation, what he has done, he has pumped the media to go forth if any DNA by bacterial transformation can happen, it can happen. So it can go back and forth, the media exchange has happened. After four hours of incubation, he plated the bacteria on the minimal media. That means media doesn't contain methionine, threonine uh, and uh, the other nutrients that is especially leucine and thiamine. So both the bacteria cannot grow, only a transferred one can grow. So she showed that once he put the plate, the bacteria cannot go through the glass filter. So there is no possibility of conjugation. If the naked DNA is there, then it can move and it can be taken up. But what happened is none of the bacteria had grown. So this proves that the Ledenberg and Tatum experiment, which has mixed together, the direct contact has happened. So that proved that the direct contact is necessary for the bacterial transfer. So after the Davis YouTube experiment, everybody accepted the Ledenberg and Tatum that the bacterial conjugation is happening. Later on, the understanding of bacterial conjugation has evolved. So let us understand about the conjugation. So if you see what is meant by a conjugation, it is simply, it is a process that transfer the genetic material from one bacteria to another bacteria by direct contact only. So this direct contact happens through a tube-like structure called pillars from a uh, fertile strain to a non-fertile strain. So based on this, the type of genetic material transfer, the conjugation can be classified into three basic types. So if you see, the first one is the F plus into F minus conjugation. The second is the HFR into F minus conjugation. And third is the F prime into F minus conjugation. So first we all understand the F plus into F minus conjugation. So F plus and F minus conjugation, it is the first time has been put forward by William Hayes in 1952 to show the Ledenberg and Tatum experiment in a very practical way that there are two types of bacteria exist and F plus and F minus in between them the conjugation can happen. So the first day, the F plus strain, the name F plus is given is that the bacteria contains a factor called fertile factor. So the F stands for the fertile factor. So it is a donor bacterium. It can transfer the genetic material to an F minus strain. That is, it is a non-fertile bacteria, which is generally a recipient bacterium. Can they take this gene? But it cannot happen in a reciprocal manner. That means the genetic transfer cannot happen from F minus to an F plus strain. Only a F plus strain can transfer the genetic material to an F minus strain. Always the F plus will be a donor cell and F minus will be a recipient cell. So what happened is that a, a F plus into F minus mating will happen. The genetic transfer will happen from the F plus strain and it enters into the F minus strain and sometimes it is successfully gets integrated into the chromosome and the F minus strain can become a F plus strain. But the frequency of this conjugation are very less and complete conversion of an F minus to an F plus strain is also a very less in nature. So first we understand what is an F plus strain in an elaborate manner. So F plus strain we generally call a bacteria which carries a fertile factor. So this fertile factor are generally present as an extra chromosomal DNA of a bacteria. So the bacteria contains the chromosomal DNA and additionally it contains an extra chromosomal DNA we can call it as a plasmid. So it is generally present as a circular double stranded DNA in which it carries the genes necessary for its uh, uh, own replication and its for its antibiotic resistance. Apart from that, this also carries the fertility factor. 
This factor is generally needed for the synthesis of the pillars. So, it carries the pillars formation genes. So, the F plus strain is simply an extra chromosomal DNA generally called as a plasmate. It carries a fertility factor which is needed for the synthesis of the pillars. So, now we will discuss about the process of conjugation. So, if you see the conjugation process, the first step is that the F plus strain which carries the fertility factor produces the pillars. So, the pillars gets elongated, elongated and finally it comes in contact with an F minus strain. The first step it has to establish a contact with a F minus strain. The F plus strain contact, establish a contact with an F minus strain by the formation of the assembly of the pillars. As you can see from the figure, so the F plus cell carries an extra chromosomal DNA which has been represented in red color, carries the F factor and the chromosome is in blue color. Then the this bacteria F factor will synthesize the pillars and it extends and it binds with the F minus recipient which lacks this uh, extra chromosomal DNA. So, in the second step what happened is that once the contact has been established, it drags the F minus strain towards the F plus strain. So, the pillars gets retracted and it comes in close proximity. So, the genetic transfer can happen in an effective manner. So, you can see what happens it slowly retracts and comes near to both the cells. So, F plus and F minus cell will come nearby. So, in the third step if you see this uh, production of this pillars secretion and retraction it needs some enzyme system. So, the type for secreting apparatus present in F plus cell will do all this activity and it is necessary for the DNA transfer also. So, if you see the pictorial diagram of the how the uh, type 4 secreting system looks like that, it has an ability to produce the pillars. So, the pillars contains the pillin protein. So, which is produced by TRA gene and for the assembly and disassembly that is the extraction, elongation and retraction, it has to spend energy and the type 4 secreting system it utilizes the energy as ATP, it depospolarizes and produces the energy needed for the activity. So, in the next step what happens is that the plasmid carries one of the part called the origin of transfer. So, the type 4 rest, uh, secreting system once gets stimulated, it also enhances the production of a protein group of proteins called relaxosome. So, this relaxosome carries an enzyme called relaxase. So, it scans and binds with the origin of transfer of this plasmid and it nicks it. So, it nicks it then it started moving towards the uh, this uh, type 4 secreting system pillars then it enters into the F minus strain. So, in step 4 that is the basically the relaxosome identifies the origin of transfer, it nicks and binds and start the process of transfer and this transfer process will be favored by the coupling factor. So, if you see in the step 5 what happen is that one of the strand with the help of coupling factor it started moving to the F minus strain. So, the another strand which is present in the F plus strain will start at synthesizing its complementary strand by rotating circular mechanism. So, in the final step if you see that what happen is the single strand which has entered into the F minus strain it also circularly rotates and it produces the complementary strand. Finally, the pillars get detached. Now, the F minus strain is also converted to an F plus strain. So, this is how a F plus and F minus conjugation will happen. So, I can summarize it if you see what happens. The first one is the F plus strain carries an extra chromosomal DNA called plasmid which carries a fertility factor. So, this factor produces the pillars, the pillars get extended and it gets established contact with the F minus strain. After that, the it gets retracted and bring the F minus strain close to the F plus strain. Then the type 4 secreting system and relaxosome will be produced. The relaxosome identifies the origin of transfer, it nicks with the relaxase enzyme. Then with the help of the coupling factor, it started moving into the F minus strain, a single strand. The other strand which is present in F minus strain by rolling circular mechanism 
will produce the complementary strand. Similarly, once it enters into the F minus strand, it also produces the complementary strand. Then finally, the pillars get detached, removed. Then the F minus strand will become an F plus strand. So, thank you very much for understanding about the bacterial conjugation and especially about the F plus and F minus conjugation. So, thank you very much.